Games of War 4th Edition brings you the battles of World War II in epic 15mm scale. Go to beastsofwar.com to get the latest in news, tactics and tutorials. High Octane Anime Action is the name of the game in Relic Knights. Mount up in your mecha and battle for glory at our Relic Knights hub on beastsofwar.com. Hi everybody, I am back with Ben and Luke from Foreground and today we are talking World War II. So, you guys okay. have this. Yeah, oh my god, well, you guys have this. This is uh, just the beginning of the, the Stalingrad range that we're mm -hmm. doing. Uh, we intend to, I think we're going to be looking at a lot of the Second World War buildings and, get, and, and kits that we have out there. Mm -hmm. We're looking at, uh, if you like, the, Devil, uh, the uh, Hell's Highway all the way to Berlin from Holland and we're also looking at a base you know what happened when the Russians be able, were able to grind down the Germans, mm. and we're starting from Stalingrad. So, so here we go. This is the Stalingrad buildings, mm -hmm. and we're doing it look a lot like um, Daldor, aren't we? The way it all fits together. Yeah. So you got a lot of stuff that interlinks together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So basically, you're doing a modular set system where. Mm -hmm. I can take any component of this and it'll link to any other component. Yeah. yeah. So for instance, you know, it's you can you can change the size of them. Mm -hmm. So say you've got that bit there and you think, do you know what, I want to put that staircase in there. Okay. And you put the staircase in there, uh, they'll all they'll all slot together. And then, you know, if you if with this piece here, yeah, this is a really neat piece because this is an internal corner. Right, I'll leave a, a yeah, 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 sure. So internal corner, yeah, right? So you which can do... means that then you can actually turn, have it like that, and then this oh. piece here would then go. Oh, men are falling everywhere. <laughs> the beautiful warlord Russians we've chosen for this shoot. Yeah. They're really lovely. And then it goes, and there you go. So you can, you can also turn them. Yeah. I'm just having a, a look yeah, around yeah, here. Please do. There's loads of different. Basically, the combinations are, are, are limitless. Mm. Like for instance, if you wanted to now make this building, oh, watch out for that man. <laughs> yeah. So you, you know whenever we were coming in to film this and you said, Justin, should I put guys on this stuff? And I you said, said yes. Well, yeah, you did say yes, but uh, <laughs> I would have done it anyway because I'm just too much of a kid. But if I just show you now how all of this is able to come together. And yeah. I know, Luke, you've got some plans for doing um, quite tall sections of this in the future. Yeah, it could be up to like two feet. Yeah, possibly. yeah. We We're... really, yeah. Um, That's literally, yeah. Well, yeah. It's going gonna, it's gonna to look absolutely amazing when we're able to do that. And then if you just see here, I'm just going to try and turn this around mm -hmm. and make it into one building. And then yeah, one ruin. One, one ruin. And then there you go. So now you've got a situation where you can literally, you know, have the game set up with this in the in very very much like with the Daldor ruins, where you can you're just making larger and larger ruins, and we will be having taller and taller ruins. Um, also, the other thing is, is I I really like the way that we've got the. Can you see the rebar coming through the top oh, there? Rebar. That's actually coming. That's actually part Ooh. of the kit. Yeah, um, so that's, these... yeah, you, well, you can see it quite clearly, can't you? And all of them, and then this one's nice as well. There's, a, there's another nice one there, which you might want to... Yeah, so you've got rebar running up along yeah, the outside yeah, edge. Very yeah. cool. Um, so, yeah, we, 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 we like that. We've got, mm. there's a, I know there's the add-on pack coming out soon, which is the window frames and the mm. rubble, which mm. some people like it with a lot of rubble, window frames, that kind of thing. Mm. Um, and we're just, we're just ex going to expand that range. Yeah. There will How be many kits do we have on the table here? I believe I'm not right in saying there's three kits here. Mm. But I can't for the life of me now figure out which ones came which way because <laughs> I've already been... But I mean, yeah, they're, 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 we've got, I think of the th at the moment, mm. there are 15 kits scheduled for this range. And four, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and three of them have come out so far. Nice, yeah. very nice. And you, you get a I lot of coverage with three kits here, I'm going to say. Oh yeah, you will. And the thing is to remember in a game is that you don't need, yes, if you're going to, like for instance, that piece there, that could be a very good focal point. If I take everything else away there, yep. and, it, and it's also been designed so you can lock it in, so you can actually yeah, yeah, lock the corner away. Lock the corners. You'll get the cracks in it, but you don't mind that for, for um, Stalingrad. And then one of the other things we're going to be doing mm -hmm. is on our website in the new year, we very much hope to be able to get uh, wallpaper downloads that will be actually exactly oh, the right size to put so inside the rooms. So I can put them into the yeah. So each individual here. room in there would cut, would would um That's very could good. have its own kind of wallpaper. Mm. Uh, yeah, it's a range we really like. I mean, um, 
you know, we, we're, we're really pleased with it. And it's gone really well, hasn't it, this range, actually? Yeah, so it's, it's an interesting design choice to make it so modular. Yes. To actually just have people saying, OK, I've got a few sets at home, you've got a few sets at home, let's put them all That's together. That's exactly it. If they code the bottoms, they can get, or a club, mm. where the members can come together. I mean, uh, you know, you could imagine an eight before of this. Yeah. And uh, or you've got all these sections, but you want lots of open as well. If you just have loads and loads of this, yeah, that's great. It's skirmish corridors. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it's also very effective to just have a bit in certain places mm. because then they become focal to the game and they can be objectives or they can be yeah. fulcrums in the battle. And so both of you, both of you want to uh, acquire it to be able to control that area so yeah, yeah we i mean we, we we've we've made it for the sort of games that we like to play mm. but we also know that uh, you know and and you know we are quite as we got we're, we're very fond of skirmish type games mm. but at the same time and if you think about foregrounds products it, it, it very much reflects in in what we do mm. but we also like the occasional mass battle um but even now, look at this. There's hardly any on the table. They're just three kits, and yeah. it looks great on this table. So, yeah, yeah we're, we're really enjoying this. Well, it's my, really going my well. My question would be, what are the games you would like to play with this? Because I have a couple that are obvious straight off the bat. All right, I'll so, tell you one of them. Uh, something like The Walking Dead. You know, it sounds ridiculous. I wasn't ridiculous. expecting that. Right. Now, the reason I'm saying something, something about The Walking Dead is... Yeah. You see, in a in a post-apocalypse, and you know we've got the Homeland Apocalypse, yeah. so we've got that range for Homeland Apocalypse. So it, 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 it could be The Walking Dead, it could be a Fallout kind of a game. It could be, you know, anything anything where it's a few years since mm. society collapsed. Or what yeah. if there was a big gas explosion in this town? All the houses would be derelict yeah. or whatever else. So I, I love mixing and matching our kits with everything. Mm. Uh, you could actually, yeah, go on. That actually caught me off guard. Because yeah. it's, it's one thing you don't think about. A World War II building. Yeah. There are buildings still out there today, standing, that are from World War Two. Oh, and before. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, I, okay. We whatever. often play with our, you know, our Chicago Way um, warehouse and that kind of thing. Yeah. We'll often have that in a, in a game of Walking Dead. Ah. Because those, those warehouses are still there. Mm -hmm. so, so, you know, mix and match the kits. Yeah. I mean, we've even been asked if we're going to turn this into a, a gothic ruins uh, a long time in the future. And uh, you could use this, but I think, you're, Luke, you're more interested in making that a bit more sort of like genre specific for actually a, a future world, aren't well, you? I say, now, now actually you said about The Walking Dead, yeah. um, kind of reminds me of Falling Skies, which is ah. alien, alien Invasion. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but there's not a game out for that yet. No, 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 but he's but what, what what Luke's saying is about the inspiration mm. for it. Yeah, so it's it's great. Yeah. Well, I mean, like if you grabbed if you wanted to do something really post apocalyptic, you could grab this as not a test. It's a really that nice, is a brilliant game. It's a really nice sort of yeah guidebook to actually building post apocalyptic yeah. games and having like some of that. this mixed in there would work really I do well. Like that, yeah. I mean, like me, obviously, I was thinking, of course, bolt action. Yeah, well, bolt action, seven. if you like, is 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 this 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 has a lot of synergy with the way that game is played. Mm -hmm. So yes, it works well. Yeah, uh, I would also play it with Tina Command. Yes, very good. In Tina Command, being inside a building, yeah. big advantage for you. Yeah, yeah, I do like Tina Command <laughs> mm -hmm. very much. So yeah. Yeah, no, Walk Walking Dead caught me off guard. I mean, like I can imagine doing like city blocks. So actually doing a city block like right. board. But what if you've got in Walking Dead? What if you've got a scenario where you've got two mm. armored gangs? Okay. All right. Then what would they do to the strongholds in the other person's place? They would reduce its ability to function as buildings. So, mm -hmm. but you've also got a situation where you know if it was years later, if in your it, and what is a homeland apocalypse? Mm -hmm. You know, you, I mean, I don't know if people have tried using some of the Walking Dead rules for some for a homeland apocalypse kind of game mm -hmm. because it works perfectly as well. Yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe. Anyway, there you go. That's that's yeah. some of the stuff I do with it. Uh, ideal, really, for Stalingrad. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the main purpose. And you're going to see it a bit taller. Mm -hmm. You're going to see some more prestigious buildings if you think Ooh. about. You know, and and maybe we will do a Berlin range, which would be a slightly different colour, but they basically would would be able to be put in the street, so you get a bit of variety, and that would might be more a bit more. Um, well, this is the thing: as you're working your way across Europe, because yeah. we obviously two directions. Yeah, we've already seen some of your your World War Two range, which always feels to me like sort of French villages and stuff. Do you want to nice see the Dutch windmill? Yeah, oh, I mean, if you have it. it. Yeah, 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 I'll get that right. Oh, yeah, there. <laughs> <laughs> this is me. I, I'm still used to seeing this set. Yeah, but don't Stuff forget, I, I actually, uh, yeah, I mean, you like this, we love it. So this, oh, is, that, this so. is the first, this is the, and the, if I just take that off, 
You see that's magnetised. Yeah. The, um, we're not putting unnecessary magnets in. We're just putting magnets in that's when it's totally worthwhile. That's totally necessary. Yeah, yeah. Being able to do and that. And then, you know, you can mm -hmm. take that off. When you take those bits off there, you can actually put miniatures in here. And you can say whether they're up, they're up on that story. We, it's one of those ones where yeah. we had to make a compromise. Because an actual fact, in a real window, there'll be so much gubbins in there that you couldn't, you could only really shoot out the window. Uh, when we're playing it, we put the people that are in there actually inside the building mm -hmm. and uh, in the bottom. But yeah, otherwise it can be turned around. Mm -hmm. um, yes. So I'm curious to see how the building design will change as you work your way through Europe. Yes. Because, like I said, we've already seen sort of your French stuff. Yeah. We're now seeing some Stalingrad stuff. I mean, like, how much research do you go into whenever you're looking well, at building these buildings? Yeah, well, the, actually, the, the the stuff that we've had for France is almost like generic of the 19, uh, early part of the 20th century, mm. uh, um, all over quite a few different places in Europe. But mm -hmm. now we're looking at uh, regional specific stuff. So when we get to uh, Alsace, you're going to see the typical sort of Alsace uh, timber, um, timber work. And... Mm -hmm. If you think about ha British timber framing, it's very much like the halved timber. So if you think of uh, our fabled realms, that's kind of a, like a, a fantasy version of it. But it's halved timbers rather than actually framework. When you get yeah. to the, the French-German border, you, get, you start seeing uh, a lot more of the, uh, the framework. And then as you go further into Germany, you get some of the ornamental frame buildings. Yeah. You've also got, got, we, we got Russia. Now, you know we do the Russian um, uh, rural buildings. We do the Polish rural buildings. In Holland, I mean Holland, we've got quite a lot of buildings that we would like to do. It's just a question, as always, of fitting all of these in. But we mm -hmm. want to do those lovely big, um, the, the, uh, the, you know, the, the actual frontage, uh, the facade, if you like. They're not used in the term we do. When we have facade buildings, it means that we've got no internal details. But mm. you've got this lovely uh, work where you've got the, the, uh, the door at the top for the winch to be able to move the furniture in and everything mm -hmm. else like that. The copings are all beautifully... Uh, um, ornamental in the way it works. I'd love to do some of that. Uh, with regard the uh, the shutters, we've got the shutters coming out for the windows for different areas as mm -hmm. well. Uh, just so that people, and you know, I was saying to you earlier, sometimes I think if you change some of the stuff just with a bit of, uh, you know, a bit of tacky on the back of it, stick, of those, stick them on mm -hmm. and uh, you can do it and you can change it for those kind of things. Mm. Uh, we've got a, a, a another farm in the pipeline. And when I'm saying in the pipeline, I'm talking about 18 to 24 months because mm. we have to, you know, work out there's what we're doing. There's a lot of design doing. work in these. Yeah, there's a lot of time. I mean, to, to mock them up isn't much of a problem. It's when you actually go to the stage of, right, this is what we want. And then you have to make it into a kit that can be made into a kit. Yeah. And then, of course, we do a photo shoot of every stage. So people see every single stage. And mm -hmm. then then we have to make sure it's right. Then you get Luke gets the, uh, the crib sheets of them. Mm -hmm. And then you make sure that they work and that the amount of times as designers we've put wrong colours on our sprues. <laughs> Always have to double check that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then it goes to Luke's guys to, in the laser room. They produce it, goes through then to our packing area, and they then do another check on it. So, mm. but you know we can always make mistakes on it and oh, you'd yeah, be surprised yeah. how many times we get called up in the packing room. <laughs> and then um, and then it goes upstairs to Chris, who's your guy who deals with all the orders that all come shipping, in. Shipping, yeah. Mm. Cool. So, well, um, I have to say, I love seeing you expanding more of your World War II range. Thank you very much. World War II is it's one of the subjects that I love yeah. dipping into once yeah. in a while, just to, to have a bit of a gander about, see what's going on, yeah. play a couple of games here and there. Uh, but I tell you what, here's the challenge for everybody out there. Get your comments in below. Yeah. Where would you like, in Europe, to see buildings coming from? Where and do you think is sort of iconic? For this one, you also have to say if you want the windmill uh -huh. or these three kits. Oh, so what? they're not just going to say their comment. Right. They've also got to say, if you like, you know, whatever. Yeah. If I win, I'd like the windmill. If I win, I'd like the ruins. But it's just the ruins on the table. You're doing another prize. I always do it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, the thing is, is that I'm a gamer and I like people yeah, to play yeah. with our games. So, yeah, the, the, the buildings you see on the table here, mm -hmm. if you want Stalingrad, just say either the ruins or Stalingrad. Yeah. And if you want the windmill, either say Holland or windmill. Okay. And that's what we'll be sending them. But they have to make that clear. Yeah. Because otherwise, you're really not going to be able to... Does that, is that fair enough? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fair enough. So tell us okay. where in Europe you would like to see the guys exploring as an iconic place. And tell us in your comments. Actually, I've got even better than that. If I move uh, all of this to one side, uh, better than that. I've actually got here, surprise, surprise. Something else? Valiant Stable. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. so this is Valiant Stable okay. from the... 
This is from Fabled Realm, so you can lift off the little bits. You've got the stable interiors. Yeah, yeah I had a look at this with Luke uh, Early, in yeah. another video. Yeah. So, well, there you go. I'll just do it very, very quickly. So that's the Valley and Stables. So if yeah. it's really what you would like is the is this option. Yeah. So now, whichever they've got a comment on what they would like to see from foreground, either in the Fantasy range or the Second World War okay. range. And then they've got to say on their, on their reply, whether they want uh, stables, windmill, or ruins. How does that work for you? Uh, do you? Yeah, sure. There you go, then. There you go, guys. All right, well, everybody, you have a, a chance of commenting on this video. You could win yourself a little bit of Stalingrad, yep. a nice Dutch windmill, or a very nice fantasy stable. So remember, Lundberg. stables, windmill, ruin. Cheers, mate. <laughs> okay, everybody, we'll move on. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks very much. Bye. See you later. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now, and be sure to check out beastsofwar.com for the latest gaming news and gaming let's plays. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.